Hey gang, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Stud Pack Dream House Build. In our previous video, you saw Jordan, Rad, and I put up all those trusses and we even had a little help from my daughter, Roll Tape. Join us in 2024 when the next truss is up. <laughs> now in today's video, we're gonna finish sheathing the walls quickly and then get up on the roof, sheath that and completely dry this building in. But before we get started, we have three quick announcements. Announcement number one, it's the Telegram scam. It's all over YouTube and they hit our channel as well. They stole our logo and it looks like the reply is coming from us, but it's not. If it doesn't say at stud pack, it's not us. And we're never gonna ask you for money or promote anything unless we tell you in the video first. So the best thing you can do with the Telegram scam, just report them. Announcement number two, something that is totally legit is our Instagram account. Our account is at stud pack official. If you head on over there and hit that follow button, we really appreciate that. You get a lot of behind the scenes video before you see them here on YouTube and a lot of behind the scenes clips of stuff you don't see on YouTube. So head on over there to Instagram, check us out, follow us, helps us a ton. Announcement number three, half a million subscribers. We just hit it recently. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts, from Jordan, Rad, and I, and the whole Stud Pack team. What a milestone. It took us four years, but we finally made it with your support. And something special for me, we hit it on, I'm sorry, we hit it on my dad's birthday. That means a lot to me. He'd have been super proud of us. He wouldn't have understood it, but he would have been proud. So thank you again for all your support on half a million subs. So a lot of times on this channel, it takes us about a day to figure out our system, just like it took us a day to figure out how we're gonna get all the trusses up there on the second floor. And it's the same thing with this end wall. As you can already see, we have our scaffolding built. We're actually gonna put all eight of our planks there so we're nice and safe. We can't fall backwards because of our bracing. And I've come up with a cool way to get the sheets up there to the top of the scaffolding. We rented a crane. What? Not really, we're gonna pull them up. <laughs> all right guys, it is the next day and we went ahead and put all the sheathing on this wall and actually put the zip tape on as well because we were trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Well, what doesn't work was trying to film off the scaffolding in this narrow alley between the wall and our neighbor's fence. But what did work was the zip tape. This stuff definitely lives up to all the hype. We've all used different kinds of tape throughout our careers, duct tape that's hard to pull off the roll, whatever. This stuff comes off the roll real easy. It's easy to manipulate, get right where you want it. But once you hit it with the roller, it's there to stay. It's so cool to see it on our project. And now we understand why guys use it for all kinds of stuff other than sheathing. And what also didn't work was all that scaffolding. We used almost every piece we had to put it in here and go all the way to the top of our building. And it took us as much time to set it up and take it down as it did just to sheath and tape that wall. Now we love the scaffolding, it's great, but it does take some time. We knew that going in. And time is not on our side right now, gang. We actually have the plumber and the electrician scheduled to do all the rough. So we have some deadlines coming up that we have to meet. So we need to make this process go a little faster, a lot faster. So Jordan Rad said, we had these cool scaffolding wheels and this nice concrete pad. Can't we just build the scaffold and roll it down as we go instead of building it all, like to right here, really high. And we gotta take it down again come over here, build it again, because this thing is so high our scaffold won't reach all at once. Now Jordan, Rad, and I work safe all the time. So if you don't like what we're doing, just close your eyes and when you hear the little rubber ducky sound, it's okay to open them, it'll all be over. What do you say, boys? You ready to build some scaffolding? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, gang, got the router. We're gonna trim this excess, and then we're gonna use this triangle to fill in that little triangle. Router, 25 feet up in the air, take one. <laughs> All right, gang, this is working great. How you doing, Rad? Good, except my water bottle fell from the top scaffolding, so that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> 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 
Sorry about that. We'll get you another one. So check this out. These two by four studs on the gable end truss, they're 24 inches on center. They don't line up with our 16 on center studs right here. How could they, right? So what we did, this four foot wide piece of sheathing is split on this one and split on this one. And so to catch the long edge of this sheet, we put an extra stud right here just to back up the sheet. We could take out this one if we wanted to, but we'll see what happens when we frame up the bathroom. So I'm the ground crew, I'm the support team down below. So I'm gonna go down, hand them up another sheet. We're gonna continue with this wall, get it all done all the way across. All right, guys, we got half the gable wall done, and we're not gonna lie to you, that is really tough, really tough. Lifting those sheets up there, nailing them off in the air. On the main house, we'll definitely see that thing on the ground, tip it up. We just didn't have the equipment here to tip up walls that heavy on our garage build. So we're gonna knock this out, we'll handle it. But before we head back up there, we had something show up today that's gonna make our job a lot easier. Are you guys tired of that router throwing like sawdust in your face? Yeah. Check out what's in here. Wood chips in the eyeball, man. Absolutely. This is from a viewer, Dave in San Antonio. Dave. Yes, sir. Good luck, I hope this helps. Let me know if y'all swing by Austin, Texas from Dave. Austin, not San Antonio. Sorry, I got that wrong. Thank you so much, Dave. Ooh. It's a down spiral router bit. Check that out. So when it's spinning, it's throwing the sawdust out away from you because the router's on this side. And if you notice, the very bottom is an up spiral. So that's actually called a compression bit, but that's gonna work awesome. Let's throw it in the router, try it out. Thanks so much, Dave, really appreciate it, bud. All right, guys, took off the half inch collet with that old straight cutter bit I had. Put in my quarter inch collet with the brand new bit from Dave. Got a little bitty bearing on the top, check that out. All right, guys, let's plug this in and route out that uh, door opening cool and uh see how easy this is well it's so I much smaller it's it, going it, to generate less, so much less, less material power, yeah less sawdust all that yep you gonna be the router man sure this should be a lot easier ready and no yep. sawdust on rad <laughs> wow that thing's fast who put that shine in there dude it was, it was me, it was me. <laughs> yeah. Dang! Yeah, that was cool. Nice. Very nice, very fast. That thing flies! It sure does. I'm gonna push it over, okay? Yeah, I got you. Go ahead. Okay, we're good up here. That is a nice gap. Can you lift up? At the bottom? Yeah. Here, I got it. You just push that side because up here it's good. Okay. Perfect. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go take that off. Here you go, Jordan. Paul, 28. Here you go.
See the goat? Goat, bat. Wow. Nice. Oh yeah. All right, y'all ready? Yep. Let's go. Yeah. All right, let him go. All right, okay. How y'all guys doing out here? Good. Last sheep. Last sheep, baby. He's lying. <laughs> Not doing good. We're roasting We're, like weenies. You're roasting? Like so. Like so, coming up. <sighs> Great toss. Now remember gang, this was that air barrier that we were talking about in our first sheathing video. So we're gonna put Lexel here to prevent air from escaping from our conditioned space, which is right here, into our non-conditioned space to the right. So if I didn't put Lexel here, there'd be an air gap potentially, right? Because it's not airtight, this stuff. But that Lexel is gonna ensure that no air gets in. And you know what? We've been talking about air sealing this whole time, but let's talk about bugs. No bugs. Bugs are a serious problem out here in Texas, man. So we're gonna do whatever we can to not have bugs in our house. I kill cockroaches on a daily. Rad had an ant infestation this morning. He was late to work because of it. Dude, if bugs are making you late to work, you have a bug problem. I'm never late. <laughs> Two, three. All right, lifting, lifting, lifting. Yeah, sick. Nice. I, uh, okay. Yeah, got it. Your way? Yep. Blue piece coming down. Got it. All right, coming down. Metal coming down, hot. Got it. Hot metal coming down. Hot potato on your head. Hot metal on your head. Last piece on the swing. Last piece coming down, blue boy. Red butt coming down. Oh, Lord. Did you got some water? Hey, Paul, could you get me some more water? Here. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, that is crazy. Oh my gosh. So here's our gable truss with the two by fours on the flat. So just put one right here. So we back up that long seam on our zip when it's side by side like that. So it's nice and strong. They'll go ahead and nail it from the other side. And I'll toe nail this with the framing gun into our top plates and our header. Router top, baby. Nice. Two windows on the back porch, dude. <laughs> awesome. One more sheet. Let's do it. Good. Gang, we're talking about how hot it is here in Texas. The thermometer says it's 101, but the feels like is 108. So that's what it really is. Yeah, check this out. This side of the scaffolding, I got the heat gun out. We can hardly climb down this side. 128.3 degrees. Oh my gosh. We learned to climb down on the sheeted side 
Let's see what that is. Yeah, 103. So like 23 yeah. difference here yeah. in the shade. Crazy. Ooh, we're almost done. How you feeling, Dad? Good. Got that little strip on the side, but it's fine because it's on the edge of a two by six. So the sheet to the right has full bearing and is fully nailed. That's just a little filler on the edge. We'll tape it and we'll be gold. Look how awesome that looks. Back of the building, done. Ride's gonna route it. Little piece sticking up. That's a pretty big route. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this big one. <laughs> That's crazy. Whoa! Oh. Watch out down there! Nice job, everybody. All right, now we're gonna tape it. Tape it. Tape it. Tape it. Here we go. If it's 108 degrees. You can tape it. All right, guys, we're going to start taping that back wall, but so we don't have to do a demonstration 30 feet in the air in the sun. We're right here on the ground in the shade. Check this out. This tape is almost four inches wide, and these marks on the zip are also almost four inches wide. So as long as you keep your tape on the outer edge of that mark, it'll be straight and perfect. I'm just going to line it up with the marks that are printed on the zip. Smooth it down with my hand. Get down here to the bottom, we'll slice it off. Cool. Yeah, you've all seen these. It's like a little Z, like the old typewriter keys, right? And it embeds or imprints a, a Z in the tape so that everybody knows you rolled it. And when you roll it, the texture of this OSB really comes through. And that stuff is never coming off. Right. So we're starting at the bottom and we'll put a piece here overlapping this one. And this vertical piece will overlap our horizontal. And remember on the bottom here, we've got the liquid flash. So, so we're going to seal all that. All right, guys, let's do, we got one more vert and let's do this whole horizontal seam. All right, gang, it is the next day. And as you can see behind me, we've got this massive, absolutely massive zip wall. We zip taped the entire thing. And I'm not gonna lie, that's probably my favorite part of the whole process is zip taping it. Because number absolutely. one, it's fast and easy. And number two, it means you're almost done. Kind of like grouting. <laughs> yeah, right. Except it's not fast and easy. <laughs> right. And the reason that I've got the mic on is because dad said, you do this clip, because we are all so exhausted, gang. And I've just got a tad more caffeine in me than he does. So we got this wall done. We've got this side piece that we still need to do. And we're actually gonna do this side last because this is where we'll build our scaffolding to give ourselves roof access since it's the lowest point. Hey, look, a jet flying right over us. That's cool. It's gonna be the lowest point for the access for the roof. So instead of setting up the scaffolding on the front of the back with the gable end, we'll do it here so we can get up on the roof much safer. And we're gonna get to that later on in this video, show you guys how we're gonna do that really safe. But for right now, gang, we are about to tackle this front gable end. And I gotta be honest with you, uh, man, Energy is low on the crew right now. It, we, we talk about how hot it is out here and it is 101 degrees and it the feels like the heat index, I think they call it, is like 108 yep. to 110 most days. I mean, it's been that way for a couple of weeks, so we are used to it. But when you combine the heat with the physical labor of not just sheathing a building, but also building and tearing down scaffolding, as you can see this morning, we've already built all of this scaffolding and just doing that, made me want to quit for the day i mean it's i mean seriously it's so hot we could probably do it if the if the weather was better yeah but since it's so hot man we just i mean we're not gonna lie it's so challenging but we're gonna get it done 
This wall is gonna be a little bit easier because we have the big windows, which means that we get to spend more time routing instead of lifting and nailing, which is great. Another cool thing is that we've got this massive tree here. The sun ends up behind this tree, so it's gonna provide us with some beautiful shade this afternoon as we continue this gable in. But the goal for today is to get this front side finished and the side finished. We know the side's gonna be quick, but this front's gonna eat our lunch. Speaking of eating lunch, I think I'm already ready for that. But, uh, man, we got to get this thing built, guys. Get some zip up. I agree, man. I think three guys is absolute minimum. And after this, yeah, after this, I'm on team crane. I'm on team sheathe it on the thing and lift yeah. it up. I'm on team that. Well, so. The house will be much different because we'll have that massive slab where we can even frame the whole gable end for the gate, great room and tip that. That's right. That's right. And that'll be cool, right? Yeah. But for right now, gang, we are just going to simply throw you guys in a time lapse so we can just absolutely knock this thing out because we do not want to spend any time getting some pretty shots. We want to get this thing done. Let's do so let's do it. You ready, Red? Let's We're at the halfway point. Pretty high up here, but we're being safe, we're getting it done, and Rad's putting the final piece. How you doing up there, brother? Dude, we're on. All right, gang, a little behind the scenes real quick. We actually have some returns from BFS. We got sent a little bit too much lumber, number one, and dad completely redesigned the porch. So he's got an idea. He hasn't shared it with the rest of us, but he can't wait for that lumber to be gone. You can already tell. So a little behind the scenes, man. We're going to get a credit, and hopefully we can pay for some more wood with that credit. But after that pallet's gone, there will be no more extra wood on the job site. So I'm stoked about that. Very cool. All right, guys, it is 3.40 in the afternoon. We're making good progress. As you can see, we only have about two more full sheets to put up there and the little corners on the gable end. And we're also taping as we go so we don't have to come back. As you can see, we already did the corner. All that's been taped. Love the zip tape. Really easy to apply. Got our rollers here and our hammer holders on our new Diamondback tool bags. So we're going to head up there, lift up those two sheets, finish this wall, and then we're going to move that scaffolding around. But check this out. It feels like 110 right now where we're working. We're not too sweaty because we just had lunch. We kind of cooled off, but I know Jordan Rad can't wait to get back up there. Let's do it, guys. We're almost done. All right, guys, there we go. Another massive green wall on the stud pack dream house complete. That is all nailed, taped, and sheathed, and we love the way it looks. I love the 10-foot sections of zip. Makes it go so much faster, though they are heavy. And I can say this, just being the ground crew, is a ton of work lifting everything up to these two young guys so they can get the job done. But as you can see over here, we got the scaffolding built between the main house and the new garage. And this is why we got those 42 inch frames because we're actually touching the shingles over here. We don't care if we damage those shingles, right, Jordan? And just have enough room on this side to slide those sheets up. All right, guys, you ready? Five more sheets, no, seven more sheets and we're done with the walls. All right, gang, it is about six o'clock. And as you can see, that sun is just above that tree. If we just give it 10 or 20 more minutes, Rad, We'll be out of the blazing sun, brother. Remember, we made a big deal about this in our previous video with the Lexel and how we're creating an air barrier. We showed it to you on that other side and we're completing it here. Very cool. And again, what this bead of Lexel is doing is preventing conditioned air from in here from going out and around into here. And ultimately, I think it's gonna prevent conditioned air from the bridge from going out into the outside. So, got a double whammy on this one. How you doing, Red? Great. Cool, man. I love this stuff. And with that, guys, the wall sheathing is all done. Remember that stack of 73 sheets we got? We used every single one of them. Now don't worry about the zip tape. We're gonna put that up as we take the scaffold down. It's much easier at that point. And we usually film a celebratory clip of our last tile, our last this, or our last piece of sheathing. But honestly, guys, last night we were so hot and tired. It was 720. 
we literally climbed off the scaffolding, hung up our tool belts, gave each other a high five, got in our cars, and we drove home. <laughs> and it is the next day, gang, but it is a scorcher today, even hotter than yesterday. 103 degrees, and it's 111 on the Feels Like Index. We are roasting up here. But as you can see, we actually started doing some of the roofing. Like we said early in the video, we like to see what works and what doesn't work. And what doesn't work is putting this sheathing up 30 feet in the air when it's 111 and trying to film the whole thing. It's nearly impossible. Well, that's easy, stud pack. Just put a GoPro on your head. We tried that. It overheats. Just put your phone on a tripod, throw it into time lapse. We tried that, even in the shade of an easy up. It overheats. So what we're gonna do right now is take you step by step and show you how we get those 10 foot sheets cut on the ground, thrown up here on our 160 degree asphalt roof, lifted onto the scaffold, up onto the second story roof and nailed down on our layout line when all the tools are so hot, we finally did put on some gloves. All right guys, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Quarter. 56 and a quarter. All right, I'm writing it down because my brain is so fried from the heat. I can't remember squat. What's my birthday? Uh, July 14th. Nice. The cool thing about this project, we have this old house right here, so I can just throw the sheets on that roof and then bring them up to the scaffolding. Don't need the rope in the C-clamp anymore. Good thing we're tearing that building down, Jordan. Tearing up those shingles. <laughs> up we go. Look how strong that is, dude. <laughs> and now, I just throw it up to rat. I see you videoing me doing the little sheet. Why don't you video me when I do the four by 10 sheet, huh? You got this sheet. Cause you're up there. You got this sheet. <laughs> this is nothing. I can do this with one hand. Brad, I'm gonna go, huh? Nice. And that's the process, gang. Three sheets on the first row, and then we did our offset. Four sheets on the second row, and then it's rinse and repeat. Three rows on the three sheets on the third row, and we're at the ridge. Paul, you didn't cut it right, man. I cut it to what you told me. Turn it 90 degrees, dude. You're the wrong way. Oh, it's hot. That's what I was saying. It's so hot, it drains you physically and mentally. Yeah. Hey, Paul. Nice cut. Feel good, Rad, huh? So comfortable. Cool. All right. You checking layout? This should be the last row we have to check our layout. What I mean by that is so that these trusses are dead straight. Gonna help the drywallers too, because they gotta put their drywall on the bottom cord. You guys are legends. You're the legend, Paul. <laughs> True. Give a round of applause for Paul. Yeah, round of applause for Paul. <laughs> we love that guy. Yep. I would give you all a round of applause, but I was told two hands on the camera at all times. <laughs> all right, guys, we got those first two rows done. Like we said earlier, we did the first row off the scaffolding. The plan was to get in our safety harnesses and tie off, but Rad really feels more uncomfortable with the harness on than you do with one off, right? Yeah, honestly, guys, I did roofing for about a year and a half before this, and every time I had a harness, I felt like the most danger for my life because I'm very much a hands-on guy, like four things and this yep. is tripping me the whole time so if you see me without a harness don't worry yeah wearing one of these is definitely a learning curve to it right you really yeah. got to change the whole way that you work and like you could wear one or you could just monkey climb up and strap yourself with your feet on the on the trusses so whatever you feel comfortable with all right well cool well it's hot up here it's the it's four o'clock in the afternoon at the height of the heat index curve so why don't we hop down off here and get some water bud you ready Let's do it. i'll follow you all right, guys, we are back here on the ground where we have a little bit of shade back here on old terra firma. That's Latin for the more firma, the less terra. And we're feeling pretty good right now. We got some water, but we're not even going to lie to you right now. The heat is brutal. Like we said earlier, 111 on the heat index today. 
we wake up in the morning thinking for sure it's going to cool off today but it doesn't cool off it just gets hotter and hotter every day we work on this project and what also is getting worse on this project is the level of difficulty that we're having to handle every day it was pretty easy to come in here on this slab build these walls and tilt them up and it got a little harder putting up the i-beam and the second floor and all that advantech the second floor walls weren't that bad. It was mostly two by fours. The hardest challenge there was just getting them upstairs. The roof trusses, you saw our challenge there. And now the sheathing, I think that's the most difficult part of the whole job. It is easy just putting sheathing down, right? It seems easy. It's just it's so high in the air and it is so hot. So the plan was by the end of this video to have this building behind me completely sheathed, including the roof and all zip tape. But to be honest, we are getting our butts kicked out here. So we're gonna have to step. So we're gonna have to step back and reevaluate. Maybe that means getting an extra guy. Maybe that means setting the alarm clock for 4:30, getting here at five, getting up there when it's nice and cool, and finishing that roof. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. All right, guys, we definitely are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel as far as the framing on the building behind me is concerned. We're not sure how we're gonna handle the rest of the roof, but rest assured, we're gonna come up with a way and we're gonna knock it out of the park, get that thing all dried in, so we can have our framing inspection and then start putting in our plumbing and electrical. Cannot wait for that. So don't forget to check us out on Instagram, at studpackofficial, our website, studpack.com. Drop one of your awesome comments, ask a question. Please subscribe, ring the bell so you get to see the next video, and we'll see you on our very next video where we tackle that roof. Hopefully. Hopefully.